these experiences are so subtle, rare, extraordinary. How am I going to ever be, be able to remember any of this stuff? I mean, bring it down to earth. Communicate to other human beings about this cosmic epiphany. Well, <clears throat> to, to mentally retain and fix in my spirit these subtle, self-containing, visual, it's all visual, cosmological downloads, my spirit delights in dreaming up poetry about them, mm -hmm. makes my visions more grounded, mm -hmm. graspable easier to remember and bring them down to earth. So here's a poem I wrote to fix it into reality. The five spheres of the self. Fly beyond Buddha's curfew. Mm -hmm. Fly beyond Aristotle's commercial analysis of the Mediterranean. Visualize yourself standing on the primal hill. Pure self-reflectivity. Controlled. Compressed. Transcended. Tables, floor, people, light. These things no longer external sense stuff. Rather, all the material world, all the etymology of this psyche is enveloped within my perception of it. Mm -hmm. This is in. <laughs> Visualize your human body spherically in three dimensions. Your human body is a sphere turned outside in. Alive, aware, bio globe facing into the interior of your inner self. Visualize your human mind. Your human mind is a larger, larger concentric sphere containing the world of your body within itself. Your mind is a sphere turned outside in, mm -hmm. reflecting inward unto itself, inward into your body's world. And the outermost sphere of your being, the world of worlds, which contains all the other worlds, is the globe of your pure spirit. Visualize your planet spirit, golden rays unfurling from its reversibilized curved global surface and warmly wombing all your other worlds within. Mm -hmm. All right, look. Muster up. Everybody, come on aboard the spaceship. Mm -hmm. On the launch pad of your spiritual sphere for a space odyssey into the inner depths of your pure spirit. Planet spirit, a sphere turned outside in and lighting inward unto itself, unto all worlds, unto all cosmos, unto all existence. You fly into the interior of your spirit and soon discover the atmosphere and world of your mind. Space shipping further inward 
you float through the planet of your reversibilized body, voyaging yet deeper into your spiritual cosmos. Yeah. Your spaceship finally approaches planet Earth, a world turned outside in. Earth's mountains peaking, winking inward toward what is normally called by common Earth people. We're translating down to them, okay? Um, outer space? Yeah. Now you see yourself. So, there you go. Hi. Mm -hmm. a, a human speck, yeah, mm -hmm. among four billion other little specks, microscopic fuzz of a planetary peach turned upside in. And outside your reversibilized peachy planet, you can now witness Earth's true outer atmosphere, the lower stratum of your body, the intermediate realm of your mind and the limitless reaches of your pure spirit beyond. But let's not look back. Let's go deeper beyond the space of the material world to explore the inner territory of your planet turned outside in. Straight away, you fly through a spherical atmosphere of reversible clouds. Your spaceship cruises beyond Earth's gravity. Beyond Mars, Jupiter, and quits the solar system to resurrect the forgotten realms of Earth's true inner space. <laughs> yeah. To resurrect the forgotten dreams in the core of your divine spirit. Beyond the Milky Way itself, you begin to realize <clears throat> Funny phenomenon is coming together because the horizons of the traditionally called ends of the universe converge. In all directions, in the sanctum sanctorium center of your spirit. And then... The universe comes out the other side of the magical oneness vanishing point to exactly form again the many layered spheres of your being as if magic, no movement had occurred at all. Your birth and death, a single act in a shimmering, where the outer limit of being and non-being converge in your spirit's core. Where the absolutes of good and bad synthesize in the heart of your indiscriminately loving universe spirit. Or up, down, east, west, zero, infinity, intersect. And the cancellation of duality. Where humans really get their love together. My poetry soars to such spiritual heights of awareness, my humble and dazed mind struggles to comprehend 
what wisdom is coming through me. What? If I'm even the author. Huh. Uh, here is such a poem. Satchitananda. Mm -hmm. Satchitananda, Sanskrit. The fusion of existence, sat, chit, with wisdom, awareness, knowledge, chit, and the result, bliss. Ananda, sat, chit, ananda. Mm -hmm. 